So a few days back, I talked about Apex Legends and the change that they made to the Battle Pass recently, which they advertise as something that they did based on community feedback. But what they did in reality was essentially take the Battle Pass, split it into two, and charge the same price as you would for a full Battle Pass for each half, effectively doubling the price. They announced this via an update here. Now, there is an edit that highlights the walkback that they did on this. We'll get to that in a minute. But the initial announcement basically said that they're going to have a shorter battle pass with one for each split, revamped rewards, and purchase with IRL currency with a new cost for Premium Plus. And the main thing that really kickstarted the backlash was the removal of the ability to use Apex coins, the in-game currency the, or the premium currency, to buy the season pass. Usually, you can earn your way through gameplay. By playing the game, you can earn your way towards the next battle pass by playing the game. They completely removed that ability and forced players to shell out real-world money and re they remove the capability to essentially be rewarded for your time uh, engaging with the game to earn the next battle pass and reward you for staying engaged with the game. And that pissed a lot of people off. This right here is the chart that highlights the old versus the new model. So they have this new free model and then they had this new premium model that no longer allowed you to spend 950 Apex coins to purchase it, but rather it's $10 per every half season and then they introduced a premium plus that instead of allowing you to use 2800 apex coins to potentially earn your way to attaining this particular battle pass you're forced to pay twenty dollars and so it just felt incredibly stingy and incredibly scummy to do that to a community that has been supporting this game and look i get that it's a free-to-play game and that it needs to make its money and whatever but to just charge as effectively double and to remove any sort of gameplay path towards earning those battle passes. It was obvious that that wouldn't sit well with people. And of course, the backlash was intense and immediate. People called it out for what it is. Instead of making the battle pass longer and charge a little more, they cut it in half and charge double by charging full price for each half. And the backlash on Reddit was immediate. So basically pay $10 twice a season instead of being able to continue buying battle passes every season with a one-time purchase. In what world is this better for players? And that's the thing. They said in their... Uh, announcement of this that this is all about making the experience better for players which is complete and utter bullshit and it is the audacity to act like you know th that they didn't expect the backlash and that they did this for the community and not for the financial expansion of the game that gets me it's that that feigning of ignorance of like oh wow I had no idea this would happen. We're so sorry. We're listening now. But it's like if you were actively listening, you'd know to not even try something like this in the first place. So a lot of people uninstalled the game and said I'm out, so on and so forth. Uh, the game is dead to me on top of the fact that the game just has a lot of technical issues and a lot of cheaters and all these things that make the game not quite as playable as it should be for a lot of people. And so, yeah, eventually people organized ways to protest. A lot of people also theorized that the reason this is happening is because the player numbers surrounding Apex Legends are starting to peak and uh, kind of dive a little bit. And so this is Apex Legends. This is Respawn and EA's attempt to essentially charge more to existing players to make up for the declining player base. And so eventually what happened was that we started to see a mass flood of negative reviews on Steam. It started with over 30,000 negative reviews. Eventually it got to a point where over 70,000 negative reviews brought the recent review score down to overwhelmingly negative at 7%. 7% 7 of 76,872 is a little over 70,000 negative reviews, 70,000 thumbs down. So a huge flood of people completely uh, just disillusioned by Respawn even attempting to pull something like this, and understandably so. And this is ahead of uh, an eSports World Cup event, so that wasn't ideal. The Apex Legends community just plummeted in their uh, optics and perception of the game, if this is kind of what we can expect in the future. 
And so with all that backlash coming EA and uh, Respawn's way, they decided to walk it back just a little. This, ladies and gentlemen, is once again the two steps forward, one step back maneuver where they ultimately did push the goalpost of egregious monetization forward a little bit. So the one aspect that they did walk back, as stated here in an update on our new Battle Pass, reads this tweet published at 10 a.m. on July 24th, 2024. It reads right here, you've spoken and we have listened. Like, I I'm tired of this we have listened statement because you've listened so many times at this point. If you have had listened, then this wouldn't be happening at all. I, I don't know in what universe it is believed that this would have you know, been something that would have been positively received. There's no multiverse out there where this is something that people accept as something that, oh man, they really did it for us. The statement continues with the release of season 22. We will restore the ability to get the premium battle pass for 950 Apex coins. That was the main point of contention. And the fact that they're restoring that is definitely a good thing, but they haven't walked back everything. They say right here, we recognize that we could have handled the battle pass changes better. That's on us. It's this, again, the feigning of like, oh, we think of it retroactively and we realize we were wrong about this. You knew this was wrong. We didn't expect the backlash is A5 Wagyu bullshit. It's the continuous attempt to treat the community like they're stupid and like they don't realize what really went on here in the in the development and planning of this new monetization tactic of essentially doubling the price of the battle pass and not allowing you to earn those battle passes through gameplay that particularly gets me. Uh, this continues, it's our intention to improve the overall value and experience across our Battle Pass offerings. For a summary of the updated Battle Pass offerings, starting with Season 22 Split 2 on September 17th, please check our uh, please check out the infographic. Here's what we'd like you to know. So here are the bullet points. With the launch of Season 22 on August 6th through Split 1, so the first half of this Battle Pass, we want to give you an opportunity to get the Premium Battle Pass. You can unlock it by completing a series of simple in-game challenges. Starting with Split 2 on September 17th, you can get the premium battle passes the same way as before by using 950 apex coins you'll be able to earn enough apex coins via the battle pass to get future passes and finally the battle pass options now include better rewards and with the retuned battle pass challenges it'll be faster to complete at only 60 levels and they did also emphasize, given people have been highlighting the fact that they're doubling the price of Battle Pass or attempted to before they kind of walked aspects of it back, people highlighted the fact that the game just isn't in a technically sound enough state to justify the, the extra charges that they're trying to impose upon players. So they did address that your priorities are our priorities. Cheaters, game stability, and quality of life updates that people have been criticizing the game for are at the top of their mind, they said. We need to get better, and it's why we're acknowledging them here. So at least an acknowledgement is something, but obviously actions will speak louder than words. And so here's the new chart for what the battle pass looks like. You can see right here that they did add some new tiers, though. So you got the premium one that is 950 Apex coins. You can uh, play the game and earn the currency by playing. Uh, you can play your way towards attaining this particular battle pass here. But then you got Ultimate and Ultimate Plus. Those you cannot earn uh, through gameplay. Those will be charging uh, real-world currency. So they did still move the goalposts a little bit. Recall that back in the day, you could, in fact, buy, say, like this premium bundle, which is a more expensive battle pass compared to the premium, for, you know, 2,800 Apex coins instead of having to pay 20 bucks. That option still no longer exists for the Ultimate and Ultimate Plus tiers and yeah maybe they offer a few more things here and there but they are trying to work towards removing the ability for players to earn things via gameplay they're slowly inching their way towards that as for what ultimate and ultimate plus offer the battle pass tiers that you do have to spend real currency on that premium dozen the one that you can use apex coins for iGen summarizes it pretty well here. Ultimate costs $10 and cannot be purchased with Apex coins. It gives players all the premium rewards and additional instant unlock of eight Apex packs and 1,200 crafting materials. And you got Ultimate Plus. You get double the exotic shards, two exclusive legendary skin variants, eight 
Apex packs, 1,200 crafting materials, 10 battle pass level unlocks, and the unlocking of every legend in the game. It costs $20 and also cannot be purchased with Apex coins. Now, on top of covering the slight walk back that Respawn and EA did for the Apex Legends battle pass changes, IGN also did interview uh, Respawn about the situation, asking why did you make the battle pass changes? The response from Ferreira was, it was hard to grind through the battle pass over 90 days. They weren't engaging with it. The players weren't engaging with it in that time, and they were engaging for a lot shorter amount of time. You can still unlock the equivalent amount of cool content and stuff, but you can do it inside of 45 days instead of 90. You can get a faster and a better pacing and cadence of engagement with the battle pass over 45 days versus 90. What we saw in the data was that the majority of players were not unlocking everything that we had in the battle pass uh, in that time, in the 90 days. So they wanted to just pace the battle pass better. But if that was the only intention, then why did you effectively double the price of these battle passes by charging full price for each half instead of charging half for each half? And why did you remove the ability for players to use the Apex coins to be able to play their way towards earning those battle passes. If you wanted to make the experience better, then you would have made the pacing changes by doing the split, but only charge half for each half, and you would have still allowed for uh, premium currency spending. Clearly, there were monetization and financial goals involved as well that you know essentially try to take advantage of players' goodwill and charge more and, and punish players for their loyalty towards the game by just completely uh, devaluing the battle passes. Now, when asked if this was something that EA pushed for, Respawn said, or Ferreira said, no, that was something that we designed. Well, I'm sure EA didn't protest when the changes were proposed, when EA realized that they're effectively doubling the price of battle pass. I'm sure EA was like, ooh, yes, now you're thinking like us. But apparently it was ultimately Respawn's design, this whole situation. And it's just disappointing to see that they would remotely think this would be received well by the community, that they would remotely even attempt something like this. Uh, like, I, I feel like it, they're not stupid. Like, they know. They, they knew on some level there'd be some backlash, but they tried anyway. They wanted to test the waters to see how much they could get away with. And just that kind of tactic and maneuvering is just kind of scummy, man. Like, I don't know what else to say. That's a general sentiment we're seeing. So here's somebody on Reddit responding to the walk back, saying this feels like it was planned from the start. See what you can get away with. And then partially walk back changes to positive press while the major changes still go through. The pass overall is still more time consuming, less levels for the same amount in coins you paid before. And the ultimate tier, which has the stuff people care about, still costs real money. This doesn't feel like much of a win. This, I would have to agree with it, it, a lot of people are like oh thank you respawn for listening i'm like i i don't think they fully listened they just compromised a little bit but still made some strides in making their monetization model slightly more egregious and that's how we move the goalpost slowly until one day years later when you look back at all the strides that they've made inch by inch you look back and realize holy shit now we've moved like a mile forward and monetization is much worse than it was uh, a couple years ago and it feels like that that's what we're moving towards. And uh, if this becomes normalized and accepted, then guess what? They're going to keep trying to push the boundaries, trying to monetize this game more and more uh, to make up for the fact that they have capped out in terms of uh, the growth of the player base. But yeah, that's kind of what you need to know about the current developments surrounding Apex Legends, the battle pass changes, some of the walkbacks that EA and Respawn did, and why, to me, and I think for a lot of people, it's just, it's not enough of a walk back and the fact that you still need a freaking chart to to make sense of this shit is just ugh, like it, it's such a it's such a pain in the ass to, to to play live service games these days that's my take let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on the changes surrounding apex legends the, the battle pass the what what they try to do initially versus what they're doing now do you think they've walked it back enough where this is acceptable or are you more sort of in my camp where again i believe that this this is not enough of a walk back and they they have succeeded in pushing the boundaries forward of, of what they can get away with. Share your thoughts in the comments below and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.